Hello, I'm Charles Kirk from Eden Presbyterian Church in Fairfax, Virginia. Today, I am here to address the North Korean Orphan Adoption Act of 2010. On behalf of my Korean brothers and sisters, I have joined the Korean Church Coalition to give voice to the voiceless, to help free them from North Korea and China. Today, over 10,000 North Korean orphans are roaming the streets of China in search of food and shelter. Orphanages in China cannot sponsor the North Korean orphans because the Chinese government has made it so that when a North Korean is found in China, the refugee is sent back. Furthermore, if a North Korean were to live in an orphanage, they would have to live in an underground orphanage eating only one meal a day if they were lucky. The refugees that arrive to China leave behind orphans. These orphans have no family in their desperate times. They are abandoned by their Chinese parents and have left, been left as slave states stateless orphans. Because these orphans have no family, they are falling into a desperate state and being sold into sex slavery. Under Kim Jong-il's rule, North Koreans do not have the natural human rights that we in America are born with. We take it for granted. <laughs> However, North Koreans cannot... cannot... oh snap, man. Uh, human rights is a necessity for every human, every ethnicity, but North Korea doesn't allow that. An example of a human right we have in America is the freedom of religion, to be able to worship any religion we want. However, North Koreans cannot because if they were to worship any other religion, they would be prosecuted for worshiping. So I plead with you, will you pass this legislation in hopes of saving the refugees that have escaped to China and are forced to live in horrible conditions? And I swear from this point, I will always support the North Korean Orphan Adoption Act to save my brothers and sisters. Thank you.